Hello friends, Radhika Ravikumaya. So in this tutorial, we'll see some of the string functions that are available in SQL. So the first string function is the upper function. Uh, the upper function is mainly used to convert the string into upper case. So you can make use of the upper string function in this way. Just say select upper of give the column name here. I've mentioned it as e name from the table. So you can see all the uh, employee name is in the upper uh, character, upper case now. So in the same way, you can make use of another function called lower, which is uh, the opposite of upper, which will uh, convert all the uh, upper case to a lower case. So you can see all are in the lower case now. So the next function is uh, init cap. So init cap is mainly used when uh, you want the first character of the word to be in the upper and the remaining are not in the lower case. So you just need to mention this as like init cap. So you can see here the John J is in the capital, remaining one is in the small letter. So this is a way of uh, mentioning uh, or using the init cap. So the next function is the length. Length is mainly used to return the length of the string. So just say select e name, then comma length e name, then from employee. You can see here the e name and its length is specified here. So length function is used to fetch the length of the string. So the next function is reverse. Uh, the reverse is nothing but it's very easy uh, just it will reverse the uh, uh, column the column string sorry just say reverse and you can see all the uh, string is in the reverse order now. So the last uh, one is called replace the replace is uh, used to replace a um, character with another character. For example, when I say replace e name with um, wherever there is a uh, capital A, I wanted to replace it with uh, z, then uh, small z, then just say like this the column name, the character that is already there, and what you want to replace. So you can see the here what Alan is um, A is replaced with Z, then here Z, D, Z, M is all the A, the capital A, not the smaller A. You can see here the smaller A is there, whereas it's not replaced with Z. So all the capital uh, Z's are it's um, case sensitive. So if I say like this A, then all only the small A will be replaced with Z. So this is how you need to make use of some of the string functions that are available in SQL. So hope this was helpful. In the next tutorial we'll see other functions like uh, numerical function, date functions, then character functions and all in SQL. So thank you very much for watching.